Late last week, the Winthrop Eagles season came to a conclusion against the Sweet 16-bound Butler Bulldogs in the first round of the NCAA tournament in Milwaukee. A great season for Winthrop, Mike. 26 wins, and it got off to an exciting start. Eagles were in the preseason NIT, Dave, and that was a big springboard for the non-conference slate of the season. A big game. It was breakfast with the Eagles against Manhattan. Joshua Davenport, uh, his career game, 22 points. He was 16 of 18 from the free throw line. And then you had the Illinois game, and Keon Johnson had 38 points in that game. Here's the crazy thing about that Illinois game, Dave. 21 shots. He was 15 of 21, 38 points. And that was really a, a harbinger of what was to come in the preseason. Winthrop trailed that Illinois game by 10 points with about three minutes to go. That would set the scene for the end of the non-league slate. Winthrop got a buzzer beater at home against Furman. Josh Davenport saved the day against Georgia Southern and a big win at St. Louis, a dominating effort towards Christmas. As the league season came around, Mike, Winthrop was hot. They would remain that way. Right, and the storyline early on in conference play was Keon Johnson, and boy, was he fantastic. Now, he had great numbers overall, 22.5 points per game for the season, 23.5 in league games, and he wasn't alone, though. Xavier Cooks had that 20-20 game against Longwood, and that would really set up the Eagles for the rest of conference play. Two trademarks for Winter basketball in 2016-2017. The block shot. They're the first team in Big South history to have two players with 150 block shots in their career and the three-pointer. Dubio KK saved the game at Gardner-Webb. A pair of blocks ended the game with a victory at Campbell. And late in the regular season, Rod Perkins and Anders Broman really got going from outside the arc. Mike Perkins would continue his hot touch in the league tournament. And that really helped out in the Big South tournament because Rod Perkins had some early points in some of those games that really got the team going. But you know what? Keon Johnson stole the show for the Big South Conference tournament. 31 points, back-to-back -back games. Would have been a record if not for Chris Clemens at Campbell, who, who had an amazing game against UNC Asheville. But when you look at Keon Johnson, finished with 87 points in the Big South Conference tournament. And don't forget about Xavier Cooks. Remember, that's been the one-two punch all season long. Xavier, three straight double-doubles in the Big South Conference tournament. And Winthrop's first tournament championship since 2010 didn't come easy after beating Charleston Southern in the first round. An absolute war with Gardner-Webb in the semis. It went to overtime, and Winthrop got the job done. They beat Campbell in the Big South championship game. Keon Johnson was the tournament MVP. Winthrop drew Butler in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Mike, maybe not the effort Winthrop wanted, though they were in the game in the second half, but an amazing season overall. Well, and it was an amazing season overall. And it really turned that game on the three-pointer. Every Woodson had the five threes in the first half. That ended up being the difference in the game. Winter played very well in the second half. Xavier Cooks finished with 23 points in that game. Keon Johnson had 17. And that shouldn't take the shine off, Dave, what was a fantastic season. Remember, the Eagles had some great road wins. They had the tied for the most road wins in the NCAA, not just in the Big South Conference, but overall. And so many great memories. The, the overtime win against Gardner-Webb that you talked about. And even though it was a loss, that game in Asheville, that double overtime game in Asheville, was one that people will be talking about for years. Winthrop's Keon Johnson graduates as the first 2,000-point scorer in Winthrop history. As Mike mentioned, the Eagles led the country in road wins. Keon Johnson, the all-time three-point shooter and free-throw maker in Winthrop history. The season is over for the Winthrop Eagles. 26 wins, the third most in school history for Winthrop coach Pat Kelsey. 102 wins in five years. That's a Big South record. Thanks for joining us all season long on WinthropEagles.com.